Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's April from Mama Loves Food. We're back again to do some more cooking, so I love that. Um, I hope you've had a great weekend and are excited to be back. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get things together over here while Facebook does its thing over there. And as soon as you guys pop on and can hear me, go ahead, go, blah, 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 go ahead and say hello. Um, say hello, tell me where you're watching from, all that fun stuff that we always do. So... We've had a pretty good um, run of shows this week so far already, I think. Hey, Charlotte, how are you? Um, there we go. Sorry. Um, yeah, we've had some good shows already this week, and it's only Tuesday, which is pretty exciting. Rachel came on um, yesterday. Oops, sorry. I'm echoing. Rachel came on yesterday, and Allison came on this morning. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Katie. Hey, Kelly's here. Hey, Kelly. Uh, and then we had a new, we have a new person, Trina. Did anybody catch Trina this morning? Um, she's doing a health and wellness spot. So that's kind of exciting. We're branching out. Um, anyway, but I'm still sticking to food. <laughs> so tonight we're going to do some apple and onion pork chops. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Jessica. Hey, uh, Belinda. How are we all? Um, so yeah, we're going to do some apple and onion pork chops, and then we're going to do some apple cider cupcakes with, um, salted caramel frosting. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Angela. Hey, Nanette. Hey, Gail. Hey, Deborah. Woohoo! We got a good crowd. Hi, Cassandra. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do some shares real quick and get us, um, make sure everybody knows that we're on. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Um, and then we'll get going. So make sure everybody says hello. Let me know you're here. If I don't catch your name as we go, I do read all the comments later, so I will know you are here. Hi Robin, hi Jacqueline, hi Marianne, hi John, hi Danielle, hi Jillian, all these faces that I know and love. Thank you for coming back, guys. Uh, just gonna take me a minute, I'm sorry. Uh, as always, I'm running late because my kids went to bed like two seconds before the show starts. So we went out to dinner tonight because today ended up being a work, a long work day. Hey Chris, hey Melissa, Diane, Ashley, Chrissy and Doug. Um, so we went out to dinner, then I had to run to the grocery store after that, and then I kind of took my time doing my makeup tonight, if we're being honest, and then I realized it was time to go on, and I wasn't quite ready, so, um, if we have time to do a kitchen tour tonight, like we've been doing lately, you'll see that all my grocery bags are still sitting on the floor, because I haven't gotten around to putting them away yet, so, just keeping it real. How do I get your new book? It's available now. The new book is out. So you just click the link in the description. And it'll take you to the purchase page. Um, so the soup book obviously is still available. And that one is $7.99. Then we've got the <clears throat> pumpkin ebook um, is available now. And I believe that one's $5.99. And then if you want to buy both of them together, it's discounted. And you can get them both for $9.99. So... Um, yeah, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to the sales page and you can do that. Sorry guys, I know I'm taking a little while today. I'm feeling slow tonight. Hopefully that doesn't translate to the whole show. <laughs> that would be sad. Hey Karen, Karen got her pumpkin recipe book. Yay! Yeah, everybody who's bought up until this moment has been sent to. So... If you purchased and did not receive something, please, please send me an email and let me know because that means, well, first check your spam because that's where it seems to, most people find it in their spam. Um, but if you can't find it in your spam and you can't find it in a search in your email, email me because everything has gone out at this point. So, Shazzy loves pork chops, yay! James caught me live, yay! Does that say James? Jamie. Um, so, hi, Marsha. We're good. Thanks for asking. All right. Almost done. I'm sorry. I know. I am feeling slow today. I had a glass of wine with dinner. or uh, Actually, that's not true. I had a glass of cider with dinner, so maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm slow. <laughs> it's probably why I'm slow. 
Aw, I love you too. Thanks, Jamie. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Robin. I'm so glad you guys are all here. All right, I'm going to do a couple more really quick shares. I promise not too much longer, and then uh, we'll get going. So like I said, today we're going to do... Um, Oh yeah, and take your, guys, grab yourself a drink, pour a glass of wine or a beer or a shot of vodka, whatever it is, whatever your poison is, a glass of ice water, I'm sipping on ice water today. Um, yeah, get whatever your, get whatever your poison is. And then also, oh, P.S., click the link and join our leggings group. Yay! We're, our, we're a little over two weeks into the queue, so it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Hey from Chicago, Linda. Hi, Linda, how are you? Okay, I think, I think I got everything. Did I get everything? I think so. Did I get everything? Kelly, can you take over for me now? Can you do that? I would love that. I think Kelly's gonna go ahead and take over for us. She's here, which means she can do the dirty work. That's why I pay her the big bucks. <laughs> okay. We're here. Oh my goodness. How long did that take? That was ridiculous. Okay. So I'm going to pull my comments up here and see if there's anything pressing. And then we're going to go ahead and get started because we've got a lot to make today. We're going to do a whole lot of stuff. We're going to, we are going to make apples and onions, roasted pork chops, which is something I love. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Josephine. Hey, Dora. What's my email? My email is april at mamalovesfood.com or april woods with an s carry c-a-r-y at gmail.com uh, or you can just pm me straight from the page and i'll get that that'll come to my email as well so you can pm me from the page you can pm me or you can go through my regular email or there's lots of ways to get a hold of me so if you're missing something make sure you do get a hold of me okay here we are is that us that's us oops okay facebook's telling me that this live is a conversation starter because you guys are saying hi. I appreciate that. Okay, so I love this recipe. I really do. It's super simple. It's really delicious. I feel like um, it reminds me of my mom growing up. My mom used to serve pork chops and applesauce, and it's kind of that flavors, but maybe a little bit more sophisticated. So, um, yeah. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Cian, caught you live tonight. Yay, I know. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So all you need for this recipe is pork chops. We're using thick cut, but you can use any kind you want. Um, the haters are back. Uh-oh. All right. Well, I'll keep an eye and try and grab them. Okay. Uh, pork chops. You can season with salt and pepper, or you can skip it. Um, soy sauce, apples, and onions. And that's it for that part. And then we're going to, while the onion, while the pork chops and stuff are in the oven um, finishing off, we will go ahead and do some cupcakes. How does that sound? Hi, Patty. Hi, Ashley. Ashley loves my earrings. Thanks. These are another one of the $2 or $3 ones from Walmart. So we're going to start by cutting up some apples and onions. I'm going to pull up the recipe right here so I can make sure. I'm not probably going to follow it perfectly, but um, okay. So six to nine pork chops, thick cut, two cups of soy sauce, one medium yellow onion. So we got one onion and two to three apples. We can do that. We can totally do that. Hey, Heather, how are you? So yeah, guys, I'm really excited. The pumpkin ebook is done. I think it looks fabulous. Jessica did a great job on it. So everybody say yay. Thank you, Jessica. Um, Shazzy loves my lipstick. Thanks, Shazzy. It's the same Maybelline 24 that I'm addicted to. So how many apples did I say? Two to three. Let's do, let's, let's just kick it up an option and do four. What do you think? These are really small apples, so we're going to do four. Use your judgment, guys. It's not, and I, we're using, I think I used red in the, um, on the website. All these recipes, by the way, guys, are always available here um, in the description. I'm also going to throw them in the comments, though, for you. So you can grab them there as well. All right, so there's our apples and onion. 
And let's grab a strainer. There goes Facebook again, already messing with us. All right, uh, so let's throw these in the strainer and give them a little rinse rinse. And we'll get going. So yeah, the, cup, the pumpkin cookbook is available now. It's 20 pumpkin and pumpkin spice recipes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands too all over here. I did wash them before the show, but just to avoid any nasty grams and God forbid I touch my hair, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? Michelle loves, loves, loves pork and apples. Cecilia wants to know who I am. Hi, Cecilia. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. I'm a, a food blogger, recipe developer. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern and do, ooh, that's a bad onion. We're not going to use that onion. That's a bummer because we have about two. Let's hope the other one's good. Whoa, the whole middle of that one was gross. Let's check this onion. Keep your fingers crossed. Hi, Melissa from Apopka. I'm across town. We film outside. We film in. Uh, we film in Florida, just northeast of Orlando. So we're in Apopka on a pretty regular basis. All right. Been doing my pork chops in an air fryer. Oh, I've never tried an air fryer before. That's interesting. All right. This onion looks perfectly perfect. Hi, Diana from Florida. Facebook is acting up. Uh, boo on Facebook. Anyway. So the new cookbook is, oh, sorry, that was a hair tickling my cheek. The new cookbook is available, yay. So if you just click the link if you want to purchase it, it is, where's my links? Where are my links at? It is, what did I say? $5.99? $5.99 if you purchase it on its own. The soup book is $7.99 if you purchase it on its own. But if you buy them together, it's a discount deal of $9.99. And the soups and stews book. Hi, Grace from the Philippines. How are you? Um, the soups and stew book, stews book is 25 soups and stews recipes. And the pumpkin ebook is oops, 20 recipes, which is why it's just a little bit less expensive. Diana says there is a delay, yeah, there, with my voice or with, um, in general, because there's always a little bit of a delay with Facebook. So, like, if you switch devices, you'll notice that I'm not always in the same spot on every device. It's weird. So, I'm just putting these in my compost real quick. That's my compost. Hey, Linda. Hi, Melinda from Colorado. I'm jealous. I want to live in Colorado. Uh, so the, the books are available, and I'd love if you supported the show by purchasing a book. That would be super awesome, and I'd love you forever. I love you forever anyway. So we're going to cut these onions on the thin side. Not super, super thin, but thin. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. My connection's weak already. What is happening? Debbie loves my leggings. Debbie, if you love leggings, we've got a new group, a LuLaRoe group. I don't know if you're familiar with LuLaRoe. It's a legging, it's a, it's a clothing company, but they're best known for their amazing leggings, which these are. People have been asking me to actually wear like LuLaRoe last week. Last week I wore Walmart leggings because they were Halloween and they were so cute. And Josie and I found them and picked them out. But um, yeah. So, these are actually the LuLaRoe ones, and they are soft like butter. They're amazing. So, anyway, if you like LuLaRoe or clothing in general and shopping and want to shop with me or just watch me auction stuff off and drink wine, um, feel free to join our LuLaRoe group. Kelly, if you're around and want to throw up a link to that, that would be super awesome. There is a link in the description. I'm so irritated with Facebook right now. What is going on? Um... Yeah, so feel free to join us over there. We're having a good time. Molly loves LuLaRoe. Molly, join us over there. I'm not out of, I've not been onboarded yet, so right now we're just over there having fun and chatting and making silly memes. But um, yeah, in the next few weeks, we will be starting live sales. So it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. You gotta tell me. Okay, so that was one medium largest, large-ish sweet yellow onion and Facebook's making me feel murdery right now because it keeps telling me my connection is weak 
Now I'm cutting, these are Granny Smiths. You can use whatever kind of apple you like. These were on sale, so that's what I'm going for. Plus I like Granny Smiths. Do you guys like Granny Smith apples? Tell me, tell me. Yeah, you guys, I know it's out of focus. It's because it says my connection is weak, and I don't know why it shouldn't. My connection should not be weak. There's no reason for it to be weak. It's really frustrating. I don't know. I don't know if it's my device or if it's Facebook or if it's my internet connection or what, but... Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like four or five apples. These are really small apples now that I look at them. Dawn was just wondering what she was gonna do with the pork, the pork chops she thawed. Perfect timing. This is a really yummy and super duper simple recipe. So all we're doing is putting sweet yellow onion and chopped apples into, and I can't eat, I, just, I realize I didn't show you what we're doing. I'm just putting them in a roasting pan real quick. Right here. It keeps stopping. That's awesome. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you. I love it when you mess with us. It's my favorite. Do you think reverse psychology works on Facebook? Probably not. Hey, Wes, how's your internet connection? Think he'll answer me? I don't know. Brenda loves Granny Smith apples. I do, too. They're so nice and tart and crisp. I know. It's, I'm really tempted to just bite into one, if we're being honest. So once we've got all this in, actually, now I'm going to go ahead and I've got my burner over here, and I'll slide it over in just a second with the cast iron on it. Um, I'm going to, I've just turned it on. I'm going to get it heated up, and what we're going to do is we're going to dip each of the pork chops front and back in soy sauce. We're going to kind of dredge them in soy sauce, and then we are going to give them a good, just a quick sear on the cast iron, and then we're going to throw them on top of the apples and the onions. And then we're going to cover it with foil and put it in the oven to finish roasting. Um, somebody just asked what kind of knife I'm using. This is called a Santuco knife. Sounds fancy. It's not expensive at all. You can, I think this one was $7. I got it at Kohl's. The difference with the Santuco knives is, can you see how it's got the ridges there? It's not a ridge on the bottom, so this is perfectly smooth. But on the sides, it's got the ridges so that when you chop your food, it doesn't stick to the knife, which is really nice. So... Jamie has to ask, what time is it here? Gail says she hasn't seen Facebook this bad in a long time. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Facebook tonight. It's really frustrating. Um, Santuco knife, yeah. It's called a Santuco knife. You can get them at, um, you can get them anywhere, really. I've seen them at Walmart. I've seen them at. I got this one at Kohl's. I have them. I think Allison gets hers at like um, Marshalls or Ross, one of those. So. I'm sure you could spend a lot of money on one, but you don't have to. Anyway, hey Kalina, how are you? All right, so yeah, I think four apples is gonna be perfect. Like I said, these were smaller apples than I usually use, so you just gotta eyeball it. You really can't, um, you really can't have, too, it's, you're not going to screw up the recipe by having too many apples, you know. So, err on the side of more, I would say. Just came on, what are we making? Hi, Lissa, we're making apples and onion pork chops, and we are making um, apple cider Apple cider cupcakes with salted caramel icing. Hi, Amber from Maine. It's dark here. Yeah, it is dark here. Sorry, it's 9 o'clock. I know I realized somebody asked me that, and then I switched gears to 9. It is 9 o'clock here, or almost 9 o'clock. It's 8 till 9. So, all right. And no, I know everybody's like, why are you cooking dinner so late? No, this is a show. I'm not cooking dinner. I'm cooking. I'm cooking to show you what I'm cooking. So, um. We'll eat this tomorrow. Okay, so let's move it out of the way. And I'll show you what we've got here. So we've got our apples and our onions. Just give them a quick toss. So they're nice. And Ruth got a pair of owl leggings. Yay! Owl leggings are so cute. Those are so popular right now. So yeah, everyone can see my leggings that I'm wearing today. I'm so in love with them. Can you see them very well? They're like tropical flowers, like hibiscus and stuff. All right. So I'm just breaking up the big chunks of onion right now. And then we're going to set that aside. And this, I've got my, um, let's put this right here. 
I've got my burner heating up over here and I'll scoot it so you guys can see with this number. Okay. I'm gonna grab a um Jessica, why did I think you did vegetarian meals? No, <laughs> definitely not. We are major meat eaters here. Sorry. Anything on the bottom of the pan? No. Mm -mm. Just the apples and the onions. All right, so I'm just scooting back here to get some oven mitts so I don't burn myself when I scoot the uh, when I scoot this burner over because it gets hot. All right, there we go. So there's our cast iron heating up. And this thing takes a little while because it's a very small burner and a large pot. <laughs> Alyssa Hickman, I just tried apples on pork the other day and it's actually delicious. It is delicious. It is so good. It's one of those combinations that's just really classic and yummy. So let's see. Yeah, we're not hot yet. I'm going to grab some, um, I know I've been saying yum a lot. So, I mean, I'm a lot. Hi, Jill. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Kim from Texas. Uh, I'm going to grab some Rendered bacon fat. You don't have to use rendered bacon fat if you don't have it, no big deal. But it's got a nice high smoke point. So it's a good option for searing. So that's what I'm going to grab. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. You guys will remember, we actually jarred this on the show the other night. And I watched the show back and I realized that I said on the show that it will solidify to clear. No. It'll solidify to completely white opaque. So that's what it solidifies to. And it smells delicious. So anyway, you don't have to. I know some people are weirded out by using um, rendered bacon grease. But if you have it, it's a good option because it's got a nice high smoke point. So, it, I mean, look, things, things are going to smoke. But it won't smoke as much or as quickly as some of your other options. I don't know why I just said that because we don't need it just yet. That was silly. Okay. So let's go ahead and dredge our pork chops in soy sauce. That's what we're going to do next. Actually, I'm going to scoot this out of the way. I just wanted to show you that we've got it heating up here. Hi, Robert. I'm sorry to hear you were late. No big deal, though. No big deal. We are... How long does it last in the fridge? Stephanie, kind of indefinitely. I don't want to give you a hard date, but I know people that leave it years in the fridge. <laughs> I've never left mine that long. I don't. We use it fast enough that it's not... Um, but... On the short side, several months. On the long side, several years. Okay. You do have to make sure you strain it. You don't want any meat bits in it, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're making apples and onions roast with roasted pork. And then um, when that's going, we're going to make some apple cider cupcakes with salted caramel uh, frosting. Rosario dislikes that she always misses the beginning. I'm sorry. You guys, if you missed the beginning and want to start from the beginning, no big deal. Just click the share button and it'll share to your wall. And then you can go back when it's over and watch the beginning again. Also, P.S., if you enjoy the show, you should click share because if you're enjoying it, don't you think your friends would enjoy it too? So you want your friends to watch it, right? Okay. So there we go. I don't know why I just put it in this really shallow pan. That was silly, but whatever. Grabbing a bowl. We'll grab a bowl. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. So we're going to just go with it. We're going to pretend it was on purpose. I totally put it in there on purpose. Actually, I do know why I did it. I was thinking you would be able to see what I was doing. Because I feel like I use a lot of deep bowls. So Mallory loves live cooking with us. Hi from South Dakota, Mallory. I love you live cooking with me too. So here's our pork chops. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Josephine LaRoche has applesauce in her pork chops, and it is good. It is good. Do you guys make, um, do you guys make apple butter? Apple butter is amazing. It's, that's really good with pork chops, too. I'm trying to think how we can maybe do apple butter on the show. My apple butter recipe is a slow cooker recipe. Sylvia wants to know what I'm drinking tonight. I'm drinking water right now, if you can believe that. Um... I had a drink at dinner tonight. I actually ate dinner before the show tonight. Um, so I'm kind of hydrating a little bit. I'll pour a glass in a minute, though. Don't worry. I'm not for forsaking my wine. <laughs> Just taking a moment. Anyway, okay, so we've got, I got thick-cut pork chops. I like thick-cut 
thick cut pork chops for this recipe because you don't have to use it thick, but um, I like them because you can put them in the oven for a while to cook and while the, they're not going to cook really quickly. So while they're cooking, it gives the apples and the onions time to soften and get the flavors melded and it's really yummy. Can I make apple butter in a pressure cooker? That's what I was about to say, Catherine. I have the pressure cooker that I bought. You'll remember it was on sale on Amazon. Um, so I'm just dipping them on both sides and I'm going to put them in here and then I'll just pour the rest over. But I want to make sure I coat them completely. Um, so, hi Shazzy, I love you too. Um, yeah, I still haven't taken it out of the package though. So I'm a little bit nervous. Is that weird? I'm a little nervous about the pressure cooker but we'll have to do that I need to I need to just put on my big girl panties and get over it because I really want to make apple butter on the show it's apple season I mean today's episode is like all about apples so you know Kelly says April has an apple butter recipe on her website I do it's really good it's really good and it's really easy it's only four it's only four ingredients I think it's just apples sugar Apple, sugar, and cinnamon. Maybe it's three ingredients. I think it's just apple, sugar, and cinnamon. And I've been kind of playing with the idea of skipping the sugar this year and seeing how it comes out because do I rinse pork? I don't rinse my meat at all, and I will tell you why. We've, I'm sorry. I apologize to people who have heard this already, but I think it's worth repeating. Um, so I always used to rinse my meat, always, always. And in January, my husband's cousins, my cousins, I like to say they're my cousins because we've been together forever. Um... So they're chefs. They're like legitimate real people chefs, not like me faking it. <laughs> so anyway, they came and stayed with us in January um, for, for several days. And I learned a lot of fun tricks from them. And one of the things I asked them, because I always, I've always rinsed my meat, and I just thought that was appropriate kitchen etiquette. Um, but somebody, um, somebody just said they, ah, sorry, I want to read that one. Ashley, guess what? Since we had a miscarriage, we have decided that we are going to try again, but we are going to wait till our house is ready. Ashley, good for you, girl. I will be keep you in my thoughts for sure. You're going to get your rainbow baby. Anyway, so, 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 I, that was the one question, that was one of the questions I asked them whether I should be rinsing my meat, because I noticed when they made something that they did not rinse their meat, and I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. And they said, no, absolutely 100% in professional kitchens, you do not rinse your meat. Because one, if you're cooking it, the little bit of bacteria that's on the surface will come up, will, will be killed in the cooking. And two, when you rinse your meat, you all you do is increase your risk of cross-contamination exponentially by moving the meat around different places, having it spread around your... Um, your sink and all over your kitchen and anyway so I no longer rinse my meat that's and that's why <laughs> we had a professional opinion in the house about that one so I'm just going to wash my hands real quick since I've been touching the pork not so quick because I'm going to do a really good job washing <laughs> I don't need any chicken hoses under my fingernails got our pork chops dredged over here yeah these are really thick they are very thick and we've got our oven preheated to 425 over there and we're gonna give them a real good sear and then we're gonna put them over sorry I'm just put look, I'm just looking at the recipe to make sure I got this right soy sauce onion apples poured soy sauce loading the sides sear the roasting pan yep okay just making sure <laughs> Can you repeat the marinade mixture? It's just soy sauce. It's not even a marinade mixture. It's just soy sauce. And yes, you can look at the recipe. The recipes are, where are the recipes? Where are your recipes? Mm, I don't know. I can't get them on mine. Kelly, can you go ahead and pop the recipes in there for um, whoever just asked? What is the name of my sister that does the Facebook show? My sister's name is Jessica, the one that does the Facebook show. Actually, I have two sisters, Jessica and Sally, but Jessica's the one that does the show. And Jessica is the one that puts my ebooks together. So that's who you guys would be familiar with. Sorry, give me one second. Okay, so our I can feel this heating up now. It's it's getting my arm nice and warm. So I'm gonna scoot it over. 
and we're gonna start searing our chops. Um, and normally I would do this on a bigger skillet on my stove top, but, ooh, see, there she goes, she pops. Um, but I wanted to be able to see what I was doing. I don't want, I wanna be in front of the camera, not behind the camera. So let's turn that down just a touch so we don't all spontaneously combust. As exciting that would be, as exciting as that would be. Can I give a shout out to Gloria in Rhode Island? Shout out to Gloria in Rhode Island. All right, so there goes our, woo, remember how I said it's got a high smoke point? <laughs> that means I got this pan too hot. That's right though, it'll cool off quickly when we put the pork chops in. A woman that can cook, they still exist. Indeed they do. Indeed they do. I'm gonna pretend that wasn't just a rather large insult on the female community. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just smoke up my kitchen. Christina says she finds a thick pork chop. I'm gonna grab my um spoon. Christina says she thinks that thick pork chops tend to be dry and tasteless. Um, yeah, pork loin is always going to be drier. I don't personally find it tasteless, and that's part of why we're dredging it in the soy sauce. And you can obviously, you can marinate it longer. I did not have the opportunity to do that. But you can set it aside and marinate it for a half hour, 45 minutes if you want beforehand. And that'll give it more flavor in the meat. What do I do with the food we make? Um, some of it we eat, some of it I gift to neighbors, some of it I gift to friends, some of it we freeze for later. This will probably be dinner tomorrow. Everything is better in bacon grease. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, this will be lunch and, lunch and or dinner tomorrow. Let's see how we're doing. Look at that. Nice gear. See? Kind of hard to hear. Yeah, the sizzling is not quite. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sarah says she can barely hear me. Yeah, we got a lot of white noise from the skillet right now. But we don't have too much longer on this. Give me one second. I'm going to duck out of the feed for just a quick second. Don't disappear on me. I'm just grabbing some stuff. My feet are right over here. I'm going to skip on my feet. My feet are cold. And while we're letting those seagull, I'm going to show you my ridiculous and cute new leggings that I just got. How much do you love those? Are those ridiculously cute? Ridiculously cute. If you love leggings, make sure you join our leggings group. Kelly, can you throw up a link to the leggings group? That would be super fantastically awesome. Don't burn it, Al. I won't burn it. I think, I'm glad you like the earrings. Thank you. They're from Walmart. Sarah, my husband is going to want me to make cupcakes tonight. He's a huge, huge fan of everything apples. Yay! They're just, they're actually not made with apples. <laughs> they're made with apple cider mix. They're a total cheater method, but they're delicious. They're so good. So yummy. Love the pants. Yay! Aren't they so cute? I love them too. All right, let's see how we're doing over here. Oops, I'm just going to keep that up a little. I'm going to give those another minute. I'm going to get a nice little kind of crust on them. Am I going to post the recipe? TJ, the recipe is available in the description. So if you just look in the description, there's a link. And also, Kelly, my assistant, has posted it a few times in the um, in the feed. So yeah, just click through. It's mamalovesfood.com. And I apologize ahead of time, you guys. The recipes are all tasty. But I've been doing this since 2008. And I originally started it as more of a love letter to myself, kind of, you know, this is where I keep my recipes, and for me and my friends, and, you know, thinking eventually my kids would, would, um, take part in it. I did not originally start it as a career move, so 
the pictures from several years ago, which both of these recipes are, are pretty horrendous. So um, please forgive me that. And I'm going through slowly. There's over 600 recipes on the website. So I'm going through slowly and reshooting the older recipes, but it is taking time. So I can't always do it in time for a show. That said, the recipes are delicious. They're just ugly. The pictures are ugly. All right, so we've got a nice little brown on those. I'm going to scoot those over to the um, baking sheet right on top of the onions and the apples. We're going to do a couple more. Tiffany loves to cook and can't wait to try this tomorrow for supper. Yay! And if you're worried about, um, about the pork chops being dry, you can absolutely use a thinner cut or even use a different cut of meat. The, um, the butt, you can get the butt cut into steak, and you could use that, and that is a very, very, um, juicy and tender cut of the meat. So, if you need, if you like your pork more juicy, which I agree, I like my pork very juicy, which is why I do with the apples and onions, because you can eat it together, and it adds that moisture component. Um, Tony's ass. Those are big pork chops. What size cut are those? Thick cut. It just says thick cut on the thing. Um, so yeah, you can just get get pork steak, or and pork steak is usually cut from the butt, or just ask for buck steak, which I know sounds really gross, but um, they're going to be more marbled with fat, and they're going to be um, much less dry if you are not a fan of the loin um, and the dryness in it, which I totally understand. What's in the Yeti? Just water right now. Actually, no, maybe I should, while well, this is sizzling, maybe I should grab a glass of wine. Let's go see what we've got going. Kayla, just missed this, but you're late for the recipe. No worries, the recipe is linked in the comments. If you hit share, this will save to your wall, and you can watch it back later, and you can scrub through all the boring parts, which, I know, a lot of it's boring. We're just sitting here watching this go. Um, Kelly saw deep fried Twinkies at Walmart. That sounds like something. Okay, I'm going to grab myself some wine. Give me one second. Okay, we have two choices today because we've been behind on our wine drinking lately. We've got, Lisa can't copy the link to the recipe. It has to do with the device you're watching on. I don't know why. Sometimes Facebook will let us click through and copy and sometimes they won't. I wish I could tell you better. So I've got a Barefoot Malbec, I don't know if I'm saying that right, or a Lost Angel Pinot Noir. So go ahead and give me a vote, blue or red. This is not political in any way, P.S. Can I just tell you? No. Um, but blue or red, go ahead, vote. Tell me what I should read, drink. We'll put those there. I'm going to check these pork chops real quick. Michelle, cooking up a storm. Amen. That's what we're here for. All right. Get these pork chops going. I'm going to dance to some frying. Hey, Veronica. Malbec. Red, blue, looks like, okay, red is the pinot noir, barefoot is blue, red, barefoot is blue. You guys, it's like totes 50-50. I was looking for some, all right. I don't know. All right, we've already tried a Lost Angel on the show, so let's try Barefoot. How about we that? That's like that's fair, right? It's like the mom thing to do. I feel like I just played mom to the bottles of wine. You already had a turn, so we're gonna go with that one. How's the weather there? It is hot. It's actually getting cooler in the evenings though, which is nice. We were able to eat outside dinner outside tonight, so that was really nice. It's still really warm though. The one with more alcohol. Ah, uh, Cecilia, let's be friends. All right. Drink both. Melissa, I'd like to end the show standing. All right. Smells good. 
can you do this recipe with thin pork chops and I'll go for blue? You can do the recipe with thin pork chops. This is the, the issue with thin pork chops in this recipe is you'll probably want to skip searing them or just do a super, super quick sear because you want to be able to cook it in the roasting pan long enough that your apples and onions um, soften and, and the flavors kind of all meld together. So if you do them too thin, then you run the risk of them being super dry. Unless you get a butt steak, in which case it's basically impossible to make that dry because it's super fatty. So, oh my god, both. We could have to, <laughs> you would have, I'd have to like tip the thing down and just like talk to you from the floor. Okay, so I'm going to grab a wine glass. Sorry. I'm really short, so I have to use this stool. <laughs> cooler she is. 61 in Michigan today. <gasps> I'm so jealous. I want to say it probably hit 90 today during the day, but dinner time it was like 85, so we were able to sit outside. I know. Gross, right? That's like most people's summer. Alright, let's check these choppers. Good. Look at that nice brown. Oh, yummy. And you don't have to do this. It is not, like, see? Look how nice that is. Um, it's not strictly beautiful. Not strictly necessary. Um, it just adds another layer of flavor. But if you're in a rush, it'll still be tasty even if you just um, put the raw ones right over the apples. Because you've got the soy sauce and the apples and the onions that'll come together and give it um, some flavor. So we're going to scoop this in here. My sister thinks I'm the worst dancer ever, and she's probably right, but it's still fun. What are we cooking, Gabriella? We've got pork chops going right now. We've got some apples and onions and a roasting pan over here, which I'll move over in just a second so you guys can see. We're going to foil those up and get them in the oven. Um, and then we're going to do some cupcakes. How's that sound? So I'm going to throw this rendered bacon grease back in the oven. So guys, let's do a little bit of housekeeping real quick. Hi, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern and do family-friendly, really simple cooking. I would love to have you here every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you like the page. Tonight we're on Spaceships and Laser Memes. On Thursdays we come on my page, Mama Loves Food. But you can always find us on both pages. I prefer you like both pages so it's easier to find me, but if you just want to like one, that's fine too. Um, so there's our apples and onions with our pork chops over them. What lipstick is this? This is the Maybelline 24 All Day Cherry. Um, ooh, so, so yeah, we're on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern doing kids crafts. I have five kids aged uh, 9, 8, six, four, and two. So we come on and do kids crafts. Occasionally we do grown up crafts, but mostly kids crafts. <laughs> I also have several guest contributors who come on every week. We have Emily from Naptime Creations. We have Allison from Domestic Superhero. Uh, Emily does sewing tutorials. Allison does cooking shows. We have Rachel from Sprinkle Some Fun, who does um, cooking and sometimes homeschool stuff. We also have um, a new contributor, Trina, from, oh no, I'm going Mama Health, Mama Something Health, sorry, she's brand new. Anyway, she was on earlier today, so if you scroll down just a little bit in the feed, you'll find her. Anyway, Trina's going to come on on, Mon on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the afternoon as well. So yeah, we've got a really awesome lineup, and we're hoping to bring more people on. Lightning really bad here. I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. You keep safe. Keep safe, Tiffany. Kelly wants to know if I'm still planning on doing an epic cake when Spaceships and Laser Beam reaches a million. Yes, I promise. I keep my promises, girl. Heck yeah, I am. We're gonna do an epic cake when we reach a million. When we reach a million on the Spaceships and Laser Beams page. So, that's really soon. It's probably going to be uh, 
later this week or next week. So I won't do the, I probably won't do the Epic Cake this week, even if she hits a million this week, just because it takes some planning. Um, but I will do it very soon. So, very soon. And those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when we talk about the Epic Cake, um, go back to the Monster Cake episode and you'll see uh, back August, it would have been August 18th or 17th, I believe, my my son's birthday, my three-year-old's birthday was August 17th, 19th, my son's birthday was August 19th, so on the 17th or the 18th, I decided I would make a layered cake, and we did a five-layer monster cake, um, and it was a very precarious situation, it was, it was a lot of fun, but it was, anyway, so people really liked the episode, it was, it was, um, kind of crazy. So I promised I would do another one if and when, well not if, when we hit a million. So Kayla wants to know how long I've been cooking online. Do you mean like at all or on this show? On this show we've been going since March and um, cooking in general online though, we've been, I've been doing it, um, actually we just hit our eight year anniversary this week. Eight years, September 2000. And eight is when I started um, the website. So I'm gonna pull this off the burner and let it cool off a touch. I'm gonna grab me a, I'm gonna grab myself a uh, trivet. Whew. All right, you don't scorch. Oh, don't scorch. You're good. Okay, so we're gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna wash it later. Oops. We're all done with this for now. And what we're going to do is just cover this with foil and put it in the oven. It's at 425, and we're going to put it in the oven for, we'll check it in like 30 minutes or so. You should do the candy corn cake I sent you. Yeah, that was a cute one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I was going to kind of let Stephanie tell us what she wants since it's her big achievement. So... While I am part of the spaceships and laser being seen, Stephanie did all the hard work. <laughs> Up until March, and then I started doing some of the hard work. But she did the vast majority of it. As I've been waiting for you with my sangria, I thought you were late. Oh, no. Yeah, guys, so if you want to see me every Tuesday and Thursday, it's really important to like both the pages mama loves food and spaceships and laser beans because even though i will appear on both pages you will not get notifications if i'm on the other one even though we do share them you can they can only give notifications for, one, for the page that you originate from so um yeah if you really love the show which yay i'm so glad you do um make sure you like mama loves food and spaceships and laser beans all right so we're all foiled up and you do that so it'll steam and not dry out as much. You're all foiled up. And I'm gonna break my ankle apparently. Okay, I'm gonna throw this in the oven. And then we'll go ahead and put our stuff away and get started on those cupcakes. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer for I don't know, what do you think? Let's do 25 minutes. Timer 25. It just really depends on how much searing you did and how thick your chops are and there's no really good perfect answer for how long. Because everything's there's so many variables. Neither page notified tonight. Ah, oh, Karen. Yeah, I don't know. Facebook doesn't like me these days. What did I do to you, Facebook? Ooh, that's good. It's buttery almost. That's really like our leggings, P.S. <laughs> I know what I'll be drinking on our first leggings show. Okay. So, what were we going to do? Cupcakes are what we were going to do. Hi, Gabriella. Gabriella's back. Mama loves food, and what was the other one? Spaceships and laser beams, which is where we are now. So, the top of the page, top of the feed should say spaceships and laser beams. You should be able to find them quickly. Tayana is watching from the UK. Welcome, girl. Welcome. Okay. My refrigerator is officially way too full of condiments. I'm kind of a condiment hoarder. P.S. Wait all day for it. Brittany! That's one way to make a girl feel really good. Okay. Also, totes nervous. 
Jeez. Talk about pressure. Okay. So, for the cake, it's a super simple one because you know I'm not a baker. P.S. Speaking of not being a baker, did you see what's up on the blog today? It's this really amazing looking apple fritter walnut um, bread, which P.S. Let's be real, it's cake. Um, from a guest blogger, guest contributor, Wendy Williams. I know, not that Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams from Butter Your Biscuit. No S, Butter Your Biscuit. Um, and we actually met via this show. She emailed me um, after seeing the show and we got talking and she is now a guest contributor, um, or is today anyway. So go ahead and say, everyone say hi to Wendy and make sure you check out her, um, her beautiful recipe that she was so kind to contribute. Okay, so we need one and a quarter cups of water, half cup of oil, and four egg whites. That is a lot of egg whites. Holy crow. Um, hi, Morgan from Newport News. Okay, Sarah from Nova Scotia. Sheik says temperatures. Temperatures for what? The oven? The oven's on 425. Um, okay, so we need to do a box of vanilla cake mix prepared. Um, five packets of spiced apple cider drink mix, and that's how you make the cake. It's really simple. Um, and we're going to do it as cupcakes. And I think we're going to go a little bit morbid today because I got some fun Halloween stuff. So, have I heard of Riscato wine? It's red, sweet, and a little dry. Tiny bit of carbonation. Ooh, that sounds good. I love dry wines like my humor. All right. What did I say I needed? Cake mix. Oh, we need the cup, the cup things. So yeah, I'll have to show you. I got some really fun. When do I serve the food I cook? Usually the next day. So, uh, sometimes my husband will stay up late and eat a late dinner with me. Um, but usually we'll just eat it for lunch or dinner the next day. Hi, Tony. How are you? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Am I doing this wrong? It's like, no muffin pans needed. Place foil baking cups on a cookie sheet. Really? I don't know how I feel about that. Paper liner can double as a baking cup. That's weird. Okay. So I'm going to use, that's weird, right? Wyland wants to know what we're making. We are making, right now we're going to do apple cider cupcakes and in the oven right now I'm so weirded out by it. like I just I don't know what did I want um sift your cake first it comes out a lot better that sounds like a lot of work I love you and I appreciate the suggestion but I can't promise I'll do that foil ones don't need a muffin pan that's what I'm hearing but I've already got it here so is it gonna hurt it if I use a muffin pan should I use the white ones and save the foil ones? This is weird. It is weird, right? <laughs> Were you referring to me or the paper thing? Because I find the paper thing weird, personally. Maybe we should use the paper ones since we have the baking tin out. What do you guys think? Baking with a glass of wine and no children underfoot sounds like heaven. High five, girl. High five. You need the white cups in the foil. No, it specifically says I don't. It says I can, they can double as a liner. Maybe I do? All right, we'll put it in. I find this strange. Use only the white. All right, works fine with the <laughs> yes, paper. All right, we're just gonna put it back together. This is stressing me out. I'm not a baker, I told you guys, I'm just not a baker. This is not in my comfort zone at all. Put the white cups in the foil cups. Okay, that's what we're doing. Look, white cups are going back in the foil cups. I guess I've never, I thought I had used foil cups before, but maybe not because I find this situation strange. That's okay. It's okay. We're learning together. Cheers. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with me. That really is good. Buttery like my legs. <laughs> All right. What does Wendy say? Only use white. I'm on a diet, starving after watching you. I can't bake either. No yolks, make cake yellow. Okay, whatever, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna 
to make it work. So we need one and a quarter cups of water, half a cup of oil, four egg whites. What happens if I just put the whole egg in? I don't want to waste the white, the egg. That seems silly. All right. Let's do measuring cup and eggs. What if I just do like three eggs instead of four egg whites? Would that work? Tell me, guys. Tell me. Tell me. What kind of barefoot wine was it? It's um, Malbec, and it's delicious. It's really good. Can you guys see it? Malbec, M-A-L-B-E-C. It's very good. All right. Use only the paper and liners. It will cook uneven if I use the foil. It won't be a white cake. I don't care if it's a white. Who cares if it's white? I care if it's vanilla. All right. I don't know. I don't know. This stresses me out. This is why I don't bake. I can't, do you see this? Do you see how stressed out I'm getting over a package cake mix? <sighs> Ridiculous. No yolk. It would make your white cake more yellow. If you don't care about color, use a whole egg. Yeah, I don't care about color. I'm just gonna use three whole eggs because it seems silly. I'm not gonna. I don't have. I don't have a recipe that I need the yolk for right now. You probably end up getting wasted and waste not want not and all that stuff my mom taught me. So we're just gonna use three eggs. Right. I don't need it to be white. I am zero. Oh, look at this. Do you know it? You want to see something funny? Ready? It's like baby Jesus himself told us the answer to that. Okay. Always use extra egg, milk instead of water, and butter instead of oil. I don't know. I'm just going with what the package says. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna, we've got our three eggs. We need. Do you guys do that all the time? You need the thing and you put it, put it aside somewhere where it's. I'll throw it away. One and a quarter cups of water. We're gonna grab this. <clears throat> I'm still here. Hi. Hi. Okay. One and a quarter cups of water. Use applesauce instead of oil. Um, Kareen, it, applesauce instead of oil actually gives you a drier cake. And it's fine if you're avoiding oil for some reason, but I am not avoiding oil for any reason. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the oil, which I left in the other room. So I'm going to go grab that. Also, I don't have applesauce in my house, so that would be near impossible. Okay. I'm weird. I use olive oil for absolutely everything, so we're going to use that. Um, what did I say? Half a cup of oil. So I caught up on Scandal last night. Stayed up way too late doing it. Uh, this is not helping your diet. Sorry, Sarah. I won't make you eat it. Um, I was caught up on Scandal last night. I can't, I don't know. I feel like it just completely devolved at the end. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to give any spoilers because I don't even know what to say about it. Except that P.S. I'm in love with Jake, so he's beautiful. You can use mayo. That's true. I have used mayo before. Alright, so there's one, two, and one, three. Tony says, uh, Tony's in Atlanta and wants to know where I am. I'm in Florida, just northeast of, sorry, hold on. Just northeast of Orlando in a little town. Scandal, I agree, right? It's just, I don't even know. Anyway, so my question, though, is what should I be watching next? Okay, so this is the apple cider. You can use any kind of packet apple cider. This is the one I like because it's the only one I know of and I've ever tried. So, yes, that's why. So we're going to use five packets, and that'll give you a nice apple cidery flavor. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And we're just going to toss it in. Glad there's no chicks in those. Yeah, 
No chicks in there. <laughs> they are not fertilized eggs. Okay. So what should I be watching now? I just finished Scandal. And honestly, I think part of two, you know, they were doing the election stuff at the end of the season, at least the one that I watched because it was Netflix. And I, I, it was just too, too, I don't want to say close to real life because the show is absolutely ridiculous, but I don't know. I didn't want to hear about the election, any election, when I was trying to relax because it's everywhere and I'm over it. I just made your loaded baked potato soup and it was super yummy. Yay! Awesome! I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Who was that? Shannon! Yay! Thank you. The Killing on Netflix. Ooh, I haven't heard of that one yet. Uh, Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things. Honey, I watched that like the day it came out. <laughs> it was amazing. Amazing! So good. Shameless. Ooh, I haven't tried that one. Connie wants to know regular or sugar-free apple cider. I don't really even want to answer that question because if you don't know to that answer to that question, then you don't know me very well. It's a cake. Of course there's sugar in it. I love you. It's okay. I'm not meaning to be mean, but you know, it's sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay. So let's grab our beaters and beat these things. Hello from Cool and Rainy Vale, Arizona. I didn't even know there was a Vale in Arizona. Cool. I love Stranger Things. It is only one season. I know. I know. I'm like a, I'm, I like to watch like six seasons in a row of everything. So I'm the same way. I'm just plugging this heater in real quick. Apparently knocking over my baking cups. Oops. Oops. My mistake. Sorry. Once upon a time. Um, I have watched, I think I've, I think I'm caught up on Once Upon a Time. Make sure the kids are not around for shameless. No, I don't watch TV. Oh, that was on, P.S. Um, I don't watch, actually I think I bumped it on when I was pushing it. Um, I don't watch TV with the kids around, so that's not a problem. Grey's Anatomy. Jennifer, I, no. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. I can't. Hello, Amy from Michigan. Lisa missed the first part. Lisa, we've got pork chops with apples and onions in the oven. And now we are making apple cider cupcakes. And then we're going to do some caramel, um, caramel, salted caramel frosting. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Um, Cassie wants to know if it's hard to keep my cabinets white. I love white, but I'm scared with three and a one-year-old. My cabinets are disgusting. Just trying to keep it real. They're muddy and they're hand prints, and it doesn't matter how many times I wipe them, they're gross. That said, I still like them better than the brown cabinets I had at my last house. Because, what was this? This is just oil. Um, because they're still so bright, you know, even though they're, even when they get dirty, they're still brighter than those dark wood ones I had, so. Yeah, that's my answer. I don't know if it's a satisfactory answer or not, but. Melanie says, shout out to my son, Aiden. Thanks. Hi, Aiden. How are you? I'm glad you're enjoying the show. I hope you're enjoying the show, and I hope you're not hearing anything inappropriate, because sometimes we are slightly inappropriate. Hi, Charlotte from Simpsonville, North Carolina. Is that North Carolina or South Carolina? South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, I like them. I would get them again. I really want to paint my lowers like turquoise, though, because for two reasons. One, it would help keep them cleaner, and two, turquoise. Duh. So I'm just doing them. I the reason I beat mine on high for a minute is because that gets some air incorporated into them, and that makes them a fluffier cupcake, which I personally like. So that's why I'm doing this. You don't have to if you like a more dense cupcake. Just give it a good mix with your spatula. But I like a fluffier cupcake, so we're just whipping some air into them. Mr. Clean will get it off and keep them white. Yeah, I mean, you can white, they clean, they come clean, it just, I have five kids under the age of 10, and they are, they play outside all the time, and they're constantly touching things, so, they get dirty quickly, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's worth it, I like them, I like them a lot, so we're just gonna scoot these over, actually, you know, I'm gonna put them here, because I think I'm gonna use those again in a minute. I never heard of this type of cupcake. I guess I'm heading to Walmart in the morning. They're delicious. Okay, let's find a spatula and spoon these bad boys in. 
I move the spatula aside to look for the spatula because that's how awesome I am tonight. So cheers, guys. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad to see you all. My name's April from Mama Loves Food. I blog at mamalovesfood.com, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. I think I just overfilled that one because I wasn't looking. Um... We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I have two cookbooks out right now. They are both electronic cookbooks, e-cookbooks, that you can read on pretty much any electronic device. Uh, phone, Kindle, iPad, computer. I'm making a mess. Um, ice cream scooper helps make them even. Oh, yeah, that probably would have been smart, huh? I don't know if I have an ice cream scooper, for being honest. I have one of those wedge ones. That wouldn't work. Anyway, so, yes, hi. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern to do cooking, family-friendly, easy recipes that sometimes I totally screw up and sometimes we get them right. I also come on Wednesday afternoons with the kids to do kids' craft. This month, the month of September, has been a Harry Potter crafting themed because, you know, September. Um... We did, what did we do? We did wands, we did mugs, and we've done bookmarks. I have no idea what we're going to do tomorrow, so if you have any suggestions, I'm totally open for it. Cecilia says, pretty face, pretty hair. Thank you. Um, what else? Yeah, I have cookbooks. <laughs> I started to talk about cookbooks. So, um, one of them is 25 soups and stews. They're all really simple soup and stew, just soup and stew recipes. Um, the other one is 20, um, oh gosh, I'm going to show you what I did here. I've got a whole pile. Not a baker, P.S. Hashtag not a baker. There we go. Yeah, I didn't need the whole thing in there. Um, yeah, so the other one is pumpkin recipes and it's 20. Pumpkin and pumpkin spice recipes. I believe it's 15 recipes that use actual pumpkin. And then another five or so that are pumpkin spiced. So, what time do I come on on Wednesday? On Wednesdays, we come on at 4 p.m. Eastern. Oops. Um, and I know I, I apologize for some of you. So it, it's, watched by, it's watched by a lot of kids because it's a kid craft show. So, um... I tried to do it at a time when my kids hadn't hit the witching hour because they joined me, um, but also at a time when kids would be home from school. So I know California is probably not home from school, but you can always watch it later. We're always available in the recorded. Yeah, pork chops. We have pork chops in the oven. Mm -hmm. So these are totally probably overfilled, and I, I only grabbed one. I only grabbed one baking sheet. I need to grab the other one. Let's get those out of the way. I feel like my timing is really poor tonight. I'm just going to put that out there. Where's the box? Okay. These are supposed to be at 350. 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. Do you think it's going to destroy them if I put them in at 425? Should I lower the oven? Let's lower the oven. We'll just lower the oven. Because our pork chops won't be fine. They can just put the lower temperature. So I'm just going to let, I'm, I'm opening the oven door right now. I don't know if you can see me in the reflection. We'll let that, okay. Let some heat escape from there. So we're going to put these in and then we'll fill the rest of them. So it said for 10 minutes. So I'll set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm going to try not to burn myself. Operative word being try. Okay. We'll ask Siri to time us. Hey Siri, set timer for 10 minutes. All right. 10 minutes and counting. We appreciate that, Siri. All right. Come on in. Okay. Hi, we're back. Uh, we need another cookie. I mean, a. Uh, wait. What are we making? We're making pork chops with apples and onions, and we are making apple cider cupcakes. Hmm. 
Willow says she doesn't think she's ever seen that. I don't know what we're talking about. What have you not seen? Okay. We're going to keep going with our really weird cupcake liners. Apparently I got the wrong kind. Hashtag not a baker. That's okay. That's okay. Real people. Okay. So guys, what did you have for dinner tonight? Or whatever your last meal was. Because I, most recent meal. I know I always say that. It always comes out of my mouth. I say last meal. And then I'm like, did you just jinx somebody? Are they going to like fall over and die now? Horrible. I know. Why do I think like that? Um, anyway, what did you have for your most recent meal? We went out to Rock and Brews. Do you guys have Rock and Brews? I know it's technically a chain, but I think it's only in like two states. Um, it's, I believe... This is the guy from Kiss, Gene Simmons. I believe it's his restaurant. Food is really good. I had ribs. All right, the coleslaw sucked. I'm not going to lie. But the ribs were really good. Um, I had ribs and coleslaw and french fries and Brussels sprouts. It was it was hella tasty. No complaints. What did you guys have? What did you guys have? Hi, Stacey. Just getting on. Bojangles chicken for Regina. Roast beef. At her daughter's with for Mary. Four twenty-five will make them higher. Interesting. Good to know. Hashtag not a baker. Okay. So we're just gonna fill the rest of these. Um, those of you who are just tuning in, this is. Vanilla cake mix with apple cider um, drink packets in it to give it an apple cider flavor. I thought about putting some chopped apples in, but I wasn't feeling quite that ambitious, so we didn't. Mac and cheese, steelhead squash and rice. That sounds yummy. Kelly had chicken nuggets. I actually really like chicken nuggets. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe all those years of being a nanny and having little kids. <laughs> An egg and a pork sausage. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Anything's good with an egg, I feel like, right? Eggs make it all better. We went to a buffet on, I visited my parents this weekend with the kids, and on Sunday, right before we left to come back home, we went to this really big, fancy buffet my parents took us to, and one of the things they had was like this super fancy pizza, and it had fried eggs on top. And my grandfather <laughs> did not approve. He was not a fan of the fried egg on a pizza. I thought it looked really tasty, but I got crab because, P.S., if my parents are paying for me to eat crab, I'm going to eat crab. Right, Mom? Right, Mom? Mom knows how much I love crab. I do love crab. Okay. So... Obviously, I overfilled the other ones because we're not getting our full 24. <laughs> That's okay. Rich crackers with cream cheese and Tabasco pepper jelly. <gasps> I love pepper jelly. Did you watch? Did you watch our? Um, did you watch our grilled cheese episode? We made we made one. We made a grilled cheese that was my favorite grilled cheese ever. Now. Um, yeah, nobody wants to talk about the debate. This is debate-free zone. P.S. Oh, I watched it. And I'm sorry I did. Um, okay, that was the apples and onion timer. I mean the pork chop timer. So I'm going to... Oh, apparently we've got two here. Um, check on those in just a second. I'm going to throw these in the oven and set a timer for 10 minutes for these. Sorry, I'm just... okay. okay, cupcakes are in. I forgot my other oven mitt, so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go ahead and pull those out of the oven. We are doomed either way, not worth discussing. Yeah, we're not, this is a politics free zone. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's 
here and we'll check these pork chops and see how we're doing. Rachel from Sprinkle Some Fun was more entertaining than me. Oh, you mean in the debates. I know. I had her on on, one, on my phone and then I had the debates on the TV. And I may have, I'll be honest, I had the debates on my TV. I had the, uh, Rachel on my phone and I had Scandal on my iPad. So, I'm not going to lie, my attention was a little divided, at least for the first half. And then I... I watched the end, the second half of the debates, but anyway, we're not going to talk about that. We all better care because, no, Cheryl, honey, no, we're not talking about it. Nope, nope. nope. Okay, so let's check these. I think this is going to need a few more minutes. I'm going to, I'm going to cut into one and just take a peek, but I don't think these are ready yet. I don't, I don't. Nope, I just need a few more minutes. Not a whole lot longer, but a few more minutes. No big. We'll just shut them back in. Alright. Does the aroma of cooking food at night bother my kids or husband? Uh, nobody has ever complained. I, my kids and my husband, I don't think, know any better. Uh, I mean, my husband obviously knows better because <laughs> I haven't been a food blogger our entire marriage. But for eight years, my, I've been blogging or cooking at night for the blog for my kids' entire lives, basically, so. Something they're used to. I'm gonna throw this back in for, we'll just check it again when the cupcakes come out. In the meantime, we will get working on our icing. How's that sound? Oh, and I just closed my cord in the oven. That is not a good idea. Not my finest moment. Okay, peace out, Cheryl, sweetie. Nothing personal, honey. We just don't wanna talk about politics right now. Okay. Cheers to a politics-free zone. Okay. Wileen's voting for Pedro. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Sorry, I just need to pull up my recipe real quick. Hubby's here. You guys want to see hubby? <laughs> um, okay. So for our icing, okay, these are this is totally cheater icing. By the way, I just want you to understand this is completely and total. Why am I not finding my other oh, is cheater icing? It is icing. Where am I icing in? Where am I icing at? Where am I icing at? I don't know. What did I do with it? There it is. It's a thing of vanilla icing. Ashley, I inspire you to want to cook. I love to cook, but I'm still learning. We're all still learning. We're all still learning. No worries. And then it is caramel. Ready? There's one more ingredient. <laughs> Salt. This is how we're making our salted caramel ice cream. And it's delicious. Sandra wants to know if I always prep my meals ahead. No, I do not always prep my meals ahead. I should. Oh, yeah. Keep it in the ice cream. Um, I should, but I don't. That would make me smarter. Caramels. Is it, okay guys, vote. Is it caramel or caramel? Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to get a bowl. do a double batch of icing because I feel like cupcakes take more icing than a cake. What do you guys think? Also because yum, icing. It's still damp. I washed it earlier. Okay. <laughs> Caramel. Okay, that's our first timer for the cupcakes. I do not think they're done because they're huge, but I'll double check. I'll check them real quick. Definitely not done. We're going to set the timer for another five minutes. Totes not done. Let's see. Do we have scissors over here? Of course not. Of course not. Why would we have scissors? That would make way too much sense. Okay. So here's the annoying part. 
I couldn't find the unwrapped. Oh, can we talk about how good this smells? Oh my goodness. I couldn't find the unwrapped caramel. So we have to unwrap the caramel, which is super duper annoying. But that's okay. That's okay. No big deal. We'll just hang out. How about we do an Ask Me Anything while we are. Kelly, can you do some shares for me, please, if you haven't already recently? Um, how's about we do an Ask Me Anything, if you guys want, while we unwrap the camera. It's hot in here, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I need another. I need another measuring cup. Can we get a nice big one? Actually, I really, I don't need this just yet, so let's get it out of the way. And I lost my stuff. Help, anyone, the brand of lipstick. Maybelline 24 All Day Cherry. Okay, so how much did I say we need? We need... One and a half cup caramel candy cubes, so we need three cups of caramel candy cubes for this recipe. Oh my goodness, Melissa wants to know how many kids I have. Josie wants to know how the pork chops came out. They're still cooking. We checked them, but they're not quite done. Those were super thick pork chops. Like, crazy thick pork chops. So they're still going. So, go ahead. Ask me anything. Does my kids like school? My kids are homeschooled. They love it. Um, they never want to go to public school. <laughs> it's 10, it's 50 degrees in Minnesota. I am so jealous of your weather in Minnesota right now. I'm sure I won't be in the dead of winter um, when we're getting our 50 degrees, but aside from cooking food, <laughs> cooking, food blogging, crafting, what do I like to do? I love, we love hiking. I do a lot of hiking. I love traveling. We take a lot of family road trips. Um, I love art. I love, I know you said no, aside from crafting, but I really do love painting and um, I don't get to do it very much at all. I used to have an Etsy shop for crocheted work, but um, Tony wants to know, one day can you do a Krispy Kreme donut sausage or beef patty sandwich? Maybe. Hashtag Marka. I'm not opposed to that. Veronica, I'm a late viewer. What are you making? We are making um, apples and onions sausage. Pork. I've got sausage on the brain. We've got apples and onions um, with pork chops in the oven right now. And we've got um, cupcakes, apple cider cupcakes in the oven right now. And hi, Trina. Trina's on. So Trina is who I was telling you about earlier. Trina does, has the health and wellness show on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Trina, go ahead and throw up a link to your page if you'd like so people can find you. Um, so yeah, sorry, Trina. That's who I was trying. I was trying to remember her, the name of her blog earlier. Willis is a heart attack special. I need a sip of wine. I do need a sip of wine. Kelly wants to know when I'm moving to Green Bay. Um, when I leave my husband, which is never. So sorry. Sadly, he's a Florida boy, born and raised. Somebody just asked where I am from. How am I not eating one? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I ate too many last night. <laughs> Made myself a little bit sick. So, even though they smell good, I'm going to stay away from them right now. I was a little bit too indulgent last night with the caramel. Hi, Mary. How are you? So, the meals I cook, are they dinner for the next night? Yeah, usually they're dinner for the next night. Or if I don't need dinner the next night, I'll bring them to a friend or a neighbor. Why did my phone just turn off? What's up with that phone? You're fully charged. Fins. Anything so long as it's a cheeseburger. Right, April, it's only right. What's right? I don't know what's right. Do my kids go trick or treating? Yeah, mm -hmm. they do. If we're in a place where there's trick or treating, actually, a lot of times we're traveling on Halloween. So, but I'm trying to think. I think we've always trick or treated while we traveled too. Last last year we were in Chicago and we trick or treated in Chicago. Sorry, things are getting everywhere. Do I like football? And if I do, what team do I like? Um, I like football in theory because I like football parties and I love the noise in the background because I grew up with it. Football itself, I do not understand the game. I've been watching it my whole life. My kids play it. My husband loves it. And I mean, I, I get the basic gist of it. I can watch it and follow along and, you know, know who's winning. But um, the nuances, I do not understand at all. So... 
Uh, my husband is a major football fan, as are my kids, and they vote, they vote. I, my my six-year-old keeps telling me who he votes for when it comes to football. He doesn't understand the fact that you can't actually vote for people for football. Um, I They root for the Jacksonville Jags and the Florida Gators. And also secondary, but still high up, uh, the UCF Knights, because that's where we all went to school. So I don't know why my phone keeps turning off, but it's making me angry. Does my hubby work from home as well? Uh, my, hus my husband has his own business, but he does not work from home. He works um, out of an office just a couple miles away. What are the Halloween, co what are the Halloween costumes this year? Do we theme or make ours from home? Um, we generally, um, I buy a bunch of costumes like the week after Halloween for super, super cheap. And then the next year they get to pick from the stack of Halloween costumes I bought. So I have no idea what they're going to be. They usually pick like the night of or the night before. What is my favorite food? I don't think I have a favorite food. Oh yeah, Kelly says, I came up, when I came to Chicago, Kelly lives near Chicago and we vis I visited her and I ended up in the hospital in, with a horrible allergic reaction, little reaction to something. So we actually only got to spend like an hour together. And the whole time I was panicking that I was gonna die, so. It wasn't exactly the most, um, what do you call it? Not the best time, but we're still besties. Anyway, Zins, where am I from? That question was not for me. I'm gonna check that with our timer for the um, cupcakes. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, those look pretty and fluffy. I'm gonna grab, oh, and they smell like cider. I'm gonna grab a toothpick and check those out. Do you guys like my leggings? Are you looking at my leggings? Aren't they the cutest ever? Join our leggings group if you like them. We're gonna start selling LuLaRoe soon, so I'm pretty excited about that. Especially because it means I get to go live more because we're gonna do live sales. So that's kind of fun. Okay. I'm just gonna check these with a toothpick real quick because they are enormous. I definitely made them way bigger than strictly necessary. I'm gonna say they need like another minute, maybe two. Them's a little gooey still. Holy moly, I made those way too big. <laughs> that's okay, you can forgive me, right? So two more minutes on those. And we'll finish unwrapping some caramels over here. How's that sound? And my phone turned off again because it hates me. Facebook hates me. My phone hates me. Earrings are from Walmart. Yes. Do I know where that is? Do I know where what is? Yeah, it was a memorable experience. Okay. I don't know what people are talking about. So anyway, I'm an open book. Ask me anything. Tony loves them. Thanks. They're from the, like the three dollars section. They're super cute, aren't they? I'm the queen of making muffin-sized cupcakes. Yeah, that's what I always do. Oops. Oops. Cherries. The bears. Kelly. Kelly Klukas. That's a cool name. Regina says adorable leggings. Thanks. Kelly, throw up a uh, link to our Lula Row group if you haven't already, please. We're going to start selling leggings and shirts and skirts and dresses, and I'm super excited. No more EPA. I have EPA in there, but I thought we'd change it up today. You know, I don't want EPA out. I never want to get tired of something. I'm good. I'm still on one glass of wine. I had a drink at dinner, so I'm trying to go easy so I don't get sloppy. If you want to see me a little sloppy, watch the margarita episode where I had like six shots of tequila. <laughs> How many caramel cubes do we need? Okay, for one batch, you need a cup and a half, which we're at two cups right now, uh, but I'm going to do a double batch. So... Yeah, Kelly just threw up a link to the LuLaRoe group. Make sure you um, join there. Tips to go with leggings. What does that mean? You want to know what to wear with leggings? I just like long shirts. I don't know. This one's from Target. LuLaRoe sells some really cute long tunics. I have a couple from Walmart that I just got that I love. What lip product color are you using? I honestly think that is the most common question I get. It is Maybelline 24. All day cherry. What time is it over here? I don't know, because I can't see my timer. <laughs> That's a good question. Anybody on the East Coast want to tell us what time it is? I'm going to say we've been on about an hour and a half, and we come on at 8.30, so it's about 10 o'clock. So 
we're running late, of course. Andrew's drinking a whiskey and Coke. Yum. Aw, Ari and Max love me. I love you too, guys. Gotta go. We'll watch later. See you later, Liz. Thanks for stepping in. Guys, please stop discussing sloppy things. Who's discussing sloppy things? Okay. We just need a few more to get to the three cup mark. I know this part's boring, sorry, but it's real life. Real life. Amanda is 22 weeks pregnant and leggings are her life. Um, I feel like I perpetually look 22 weeks pregnant, but I am not. Um, and leggings are my life. So I'm going to go ahead and check. I think those first cupcakes are probably done by now. So we're going to peek at those. And I think the second ones are nearly done. Oh my goodness. Oh, they smell so good. They smell so good. Muffin size cupcakes for the win. <laughs> Hashtag FTW. All right, there we go. Oh, I just stuck my finger in one of them. Not my best move. I'm going to set the timer for another two minutes for the other ones because the other ones are smaller, so I think they'll be done rather soon. I hear you, I hear you. Timer, two, zero, zero, timer. Okay. Well, we're going to unwrap a few more caramels. Has anyone heard of the middle sister wine? I have. I bought some for my middle sister. <laughs> Tasha, she has dogs. I do have dogs. April, so not true. What's not true? What did I say? Did I lie about something? I have two adorable dogs. I do have two adorable dogs. Hi, Zandy. All right. Do I cook a lot? I do cook a lot. It's my job. It's my job. It's what I do. Summer says, my son is 13 and I live in leggings. I mean, why wouldn't I live in leggings? They're comfortable and they're cute. Is it a legging show? Is this a legging show? No. I'm just talking about it. <laughs> Are you getting angry? I told you to ask me anything. Leggings are life. Uh, I thought it was a game, not a timer. Oh no, I know my timer is a funny sound. Has a funny sound to it. I got two bottles, but I'm not sure if I like it. Well, you'll only know if you try it. Okay, we're almost at the three cup mark, and you want it to be a cup and a half unmelted. So a cup and a half of the cubes, not a cup and a half of melted caramel. This is a cupcake show. This is a cooking show. We're working on Sorry about that, guys. We're back. We're back. Um, somebody just asked if I get paid to do this. This being the show, um, no, it's not It's not sponsored. Um, the website, though, yeah, that's my job. I get paid um, through sponsorships and advertising and that kind of stuff. And occasionally, we do have paid shows. Um and if this is not one of them. If, if it's a paid show, I'll always tell you up front and I'll remind you several times about the show that it's a paid show. Um, this is this one is a collaboration between myself and, ooh, and Stephanie from Spaceships and Laser Beams. So it looks like basically a, yeah, I think we're at three cups now. So we're going to melt that, but I'm going to check those cupcakes first. And we're going to make a little bit of room up here because it's messy. Oh, these look beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so excited. And, oh, and the toothpick came out clean. Love it. Okay, these ones are a lot <laughs> less muffiny and more cupcakey, but that's okay. They're both going to be delicious. Yum. All right, so let's throw these over here and let them cool as well. Let's make some room. Because we are messy, messy cooks. That's all right. Okay. And then I'm going to go, hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Nikki's here. Everyone say hi, Nikki. Nikki's my old nanny. She's amazing. Okay. She abandoned us to go be a teacher because, ew, what's that about? Okay. I'm going to go grab the apples and onion pork chops and see if those are done. I think they are. They should be done by now. I'm going to make myself some room and grab the trivet and the pork chops. Here's some trivets, throw those there, and turn the oven off. It smells yummy. 
mommy. That's always a good sign, right? Right, right? Do I hate cleaning up after the show? I hate cleaning up after the show. Hate it. Loathe it with the intensity of a thousand fiery suns. And I don't even do the dishes, you guys. I do about a third of the dishes, and then my husband does the rest in the morning. And I still hate it. Every little bit of it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Burn. It looks yummy, guys. I'm sure I'm pretty sure these are done. Oh, we'll cut one open and double check. But I feel pretty comfortable calling these bad boys Dunzo. Dunzo Funzo. We'll grab a thick one right in the middle. Beautiful. Perfect. Can you guys see? Nice and white all the way through. Smells delicious. We rented the movie Shallows. I have never seen that before. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside for a minute and let it cool just a touch because really you're supposed to let meat rest and I just whacked into that one. So I'm going to set this aside for just a minute and we're going to go ahead and work on the icing. How's that sound? Make sure it looks full. Them some fluffy cupcakes. Them are some fluffy cupcakes. Oh, they're like airy and yummy and perfect. I love fluffy cupcakes. Have I mentioned that? I think I already mentioned that. I'm going to say it again. I love a fluffy cupcake. Come out. Come out. There we go. All right. Well, whatever. That's fine. I just watched The Shallows. I should have a barbecue, April. I have lots of barbecues. We do, we do. Okay. So to do the icing, we need a can of frosting and the caramels and a little bit of salt. And we gotta melt the caramel candies in the microwave. We're gonna do them just like we do the candy melts. 20 second increments and then we're gonna stir. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in for 20 seconds and then we're gonna stir. I'm still curious who eats the food. Dinner at 10, Rebels. <laughs> um, usually the food is for um, tomorrow. So occasionally if I have not eaten already, I will have some for dinner. And if my husband stays up late, if he really likes what I'm cooking, he'll come eat some. Um, but no, generally we save it for tomorrow. I'll take a few bites on the show and then save the rest for the, rest, for the next day. All right. Let's go ahead and give that a whip. Okay, so you want to make sure, it's just like the candy melts, you want to make sure you give them a little stir because you don't want them to scorch. Because it's just like the candy melts, caramel is basically just sugar. Um, and when sugar scorches, it's gross, and we don't like that. As, uh, Kelly, I am not on at 7.30 Eastern, I'm at, on at 8.30 Eastern. 7.30 Central. How many bottles of wine do I drink? In a lifetime? In a month? In a week? Maybe a bottle a week? Sometimes less? Usually less? I don't know. It just depends. Becky says, I very nearly almost bought your Epo Sangria at Publix, but I was being cheap and it wasn't on sale. It goes on sale pretty regularly, so you should be able to find it. Wayne and Lenore, I love watching your videos. You're so real. Ah, oh, thanks. Would I suggest letting meat sit in soy sauce overnight, or is it too long? I think that might be a little too long, because soy sauce is pretty potent stuff. I don't know. Okay. Tony says, red wine is good for your heart. Yeah, but in moderation. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can give those guys a stir now. Get a melty melty. All right. They are starting to melty melty, which is what we want. Put them in for another 20. Um, so guys, what's your favorite season? Tell me, tell me. My favorite season in Florida is winter. But if I was somewhere else, it would probably be fall because, you know. It's okay, Kelly. It's okay. Cecilia says, I love your earrings. I'm old. I don't know what being old has to do with loving my earrings, but thank you for the compliment. What is my favorite wine? I don't think I have a favorite. I don't think I do. 
I don't like very sweet wines, with the exception of sangria. Um, I, but otherwise, yeah, I like wine. <laughs> Can I go ahead and check these again and give them a little stir? Alright, we're getting there. It would not normally, if you did the one, um, one, what do you call it? Serving, not serving size. One batch of this recipe, it would not normally take this long, but we are doubling the recipe, so that's why it's taking longer. My husband is, he just said goodnight to me, and he wasn't coming from the video. Oh, here he comes. We shamed him. There he is. Good night. Oh, so cute. Fall and spring in Oklahoma fall. Spring, fall. The holidays and weather changing. I love the feeling of fall emotionally. I love the feeling of fall of winter physically. If that makes sense. Okay. I think we should be good now. Yep, nice and melty. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. It's it's still thick, but it's it's melted, see? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our icing into it. I never go to bed with my husband husband. No, I don't. I don't. I work really late. He gets up with the kids early in the morning. I know. I don't know that we've ever in our marriage gone to bed at the same time. It's just not a thing we do. I don't know. He's a, he's a morning guy. I'm a night guy. America hates pumpkin and pumpkin spice. What? <sighs> I thought we were friends, America. I thought we were friends. Misty loves this show. Thank you. I should make a chocolate mousse pie one of these days. That sounds good. We can do that. Faux show. He's so cute, lucky guy. Aw, oh, thanks. What blue thing? What are we talking about blue things? I didn't mention a blue thing, did I? Did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe that's a secret to a happy marriage. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to go to bed at the same time. It just isn't. I'm just not a. I'm not an early to bed person, and he's not a late to bed person. So, I'm gonna do what you gotta do. All right. Okay. I'm gonna rinse our uh, one of our beaters. I'm gonna do it that way so it's faster. You can totally do it by hand, and I usually do, but I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this quickly. So we're going to, where my, there it is. I'm going to just use one beater. I think she's talking about my soap dispenser. Oh, this is, it's just Windex. <laughs> use it to wipe down the counters and stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead. Not what I intended to do. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you missed hubby. We'll get him back on Thursday. We'll try. We'll try anyway. We'll do our best. Alright, so we're just mixing it. All it is is the melted caramels and a batch of, and a thing of vanilla icing. And I'm going to put a second thing of vanilla icing in in just a second because we doubled the recipe. Oh no, the one you put on the caramel? What's wrong? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Probably. Probably. We're going to move it into the bigger bowl because this, um, this one's going to be too small. What do I do with my spatula? Oh, it's alright. What am I mixing? Oh, ugh, that was not, that was not my best move. I just made a mess on the counter. I just made a mess. I got caramel all over my phone cord. I should make pumpkin pie. We did. We made, well, we made pumpkin pie bites, which is basically um, a chocolate cookie base we used and um, a pumpkin pie filling on top. What's the latest you've stayed up cooking? Um, cooking, probably like 2 a.m. For the show, you mean, or just like for work? For work, probably like 2 a.m. Um, I try not to do that. I usually try to, I try to be out of the kitchen by around midnight. And then if I do any more work, it'll be in front of my computer. Because 
if I go later than that, I start to make mistakes, which we don't want. Mistakes are no good. Then I get emails that say, why does this say bake at 125 degrees? My oven doesn't even go down to 125 degrees. And then I have to say, oh, I didn't mean that. I was half asleep when I wrote that note. So. All right. I don't know why I did it in this little bowl. I should have put the caramel. Normally I put the caramel into the big bowl after it's melted. I don't know, wasn't really thinking. Keeping it real, guys, keeping it real. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to clean. Make room for that. Okay, let's keep fixing this. Can I make an apple pie or apple betty? I don't know what an apple betty is. And I have never made an apple pie, if you can believe that. I'm gonna put the other beater in now that we've got it in the big bowl. size and brand of cast iron would I recommend? Um, mine's an 8 inch, which is fine. I would say 8 or 10. I wouldn't go smaller than 8 personally. Okay. Caramel apple pie sounds good. It does sound good. That sounds delicious, actually. Alright, so now we're going to put our second um, thing of it. Unless you wanted it just super, super caramelly, you could do that too. But I don't. <laughs> My kids like the caramel flavor, but not like straight caramel. So that's why I cut it with the vanilla icing. And it's delicious. salt it still so how much salt did it say mm -hmm. why do I have to beat it so much you don't have to I'm just doing it um, it was it was cooling off because I've been doing so many things at once normally I just do it quickly all at once it started to cool off so it was a little bit tougher for hand mixing so that's why I used the beater um, half to one teaspoon of salt so that's about that's about good We'll taste it. When will I have my own restaurant? Tony, I have no interest in a restaurant. No, 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 no. No, no. Never. But thank you. Paige took a nap and woke up and freaked out that she missed my show. We're still here. We're running late again. <laughs> As always these days. That's all right. What dish made you love to cook? I don't know if it was any one dish. I just like, I really like feeding people. So... Okay. Now it's all mixed. Let's taste it. Mmm. Perfect. That is good. That is good. Okay. So, I had grand visions of letting it cool and putting it in a piping bag, and that just didn't happen. So we're going to slop it on. We're going to slop it on. Um, we're going to clear some space first though because we've made a mess made a mess made a mess made our kitchen into a mess i don't know i was gonna say but i can't dawn platinum will clean that caramel bowl up right up yes it will and that is what's in my that is what's in my soap dispenser so we're in luck okay so here's our icing I'm only gonna do a few because I do want the I do want the icing to set up more um, for the rest of them. So we're gonna we'll do a couple though with the with the with the warm icing. We just won't be able to make it look quite as pretty, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna show you what we've got. Do you guys want to see what we've got? This is a fall cupcake. It's perfect for a Halloween party. So we got some eyeballs. Eyeballs are fun. 
How old is my youngest baby? My youngest just turned three. We've got some bloody axes. We've got some cleavers. And we got some good old fashioned steak knives. Aren't those fun? Those are fun, right? What time is it here? It is lunchtime in Australia. It is 10, it's almost 10.30 p.m. here. So here's a few of our cubby cakes. Can you guys see? I'm gonna point the camera down just a touch more so y'all can see what we're doing. Is that a little better? Can you guys see better now? Whoop. Let's see if I can get my head back in there now. Hi! I'm kind of cut off, but that's okay. We'll live with it. Uh, my neighbors get leftovers. Yeah. Yes, these are sugar. They're made of sugar. Fun, right? Fun? Okay, so these are still a touch warm, too. So we're going to do... How many things we have? We have three different types of knives, so let's do three cupcakes. How does that sound? Fair? Fair? 9.25 p.m. in Fort Worth. Love those. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and, since it's very, um, warm, iced. Look at that. Iced, iced baby. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Red food coloring. Oh. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Hoping I don't lose the top of the cupcake in here, though. <laughs> Iced. I'm going to do the last one with a spoon because I almost felt the top of that one come off. We don't want that. We don't want to taint our icing. Actually not. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's got like just the right, just a little hint of salt. Ah, oh, it's so good. I love it. P.S. I loves it. Ah, I keep smearing it with my fingers off. Hester wishes she was my neighbor. You would be chubby. <laughs> Because I would give you so much food. Okay. So there's our three apple cider cupcakes with salted caramel frosting. And then we're going to have some fun. Mama got some sparkly red gel. 1025 in Junction City, Kentucky. Sarah is hungry. I think I need to snip the tip. I think so. There she goes. Um, let's put these on a plate. I need to get like a perfectly flat plate. Do they make those? Do they make perfectly flat plates so that I can... 9.27 in Shenandoah, LA. Is that Louisiana? I'm assuming. Although I assumed the other day... And somebody was like, no, I meant New Zealand, not Nevada or something. Okay. Snip the tip. All right. Bloody, right? Kind of gross. And also awesome. My kids will get a kick out of these. I probably ought to go ahead and do... I probably ought to go ahead and do five since I have five kids, huh? Probably. Okay. Make it bleed. Stab it with a tiny knife. That's what we're doing. Ooh, I just ripped the whole package. So I found these at Walmart for anyone who's wondering. They're like, I think three bucks a three bucks a bottle, maybe. Maybe four. I don't know. They were totally overpriced, but I can't help myself. I want a cupcake so bad. Sorry. A platter will work. And I don't have a small one, though. I want just a little one. Okay. Aren't these cute? So it's just sugar. It's just sugar. I'm going to grab a real knife. And kind of spread this a little bit. Make it 
streakier. You can look more like a puddle of blood. How fun, I mean, how fun is that? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it so hard. Oh, I love it so hard. Walmart must be my favorite store. I wouldn't go so far as my favorite. <laughs> uh, uh, when I say Walmart at the time, I don't always mean like the big Walmart. We have a Walmart grocery store really close to our house. So, Oftentimes I'm talking about the grocery store, which I am tonight. That's where I went and picked up groceries. I love lots of stores. Shopping is fun. Okay. <gasps> ah! Dang it. That was not intentional. <laughs> Wylene says, I mean, heck yeah. I don't know. She curse? It's okay. I'll forgive you. Okay. We've got our puddles of blood. And let's... I was going to lick that, but never mind. Never ye mind. Can only take Walmart, take the big Walmart in doses. Yeah, we actually don't have a big Walmart near us. We've got a grocery Walmart, and then we've got kind of a mini Walmart, It's which is nice. Because I, yeah, the big Walmarts are cool because there's so much stuff, but they're way overwhelming. Okay, so let's grab a cleaver. Shall we grab a cleaver? Like, make one more. I missed. Gotta go. I'm making two more. We're gonna get these out and then we're gonna have our, our axe. <laughs> Robin bought the same stuff. Yay! It's fun, right? I think it's fun. I'm excited about these. I'm having a really hard time getting these out of the There we go. There we go. These are seriously um, contained. Uh, somebody just asked what state I am in. I am in Florida. We're just north of Orlando. Oh my goodness! They're so cute! And they're really sturdy. Like, I don't feel like they're not going to fall apart. I bought some a few... Last year, I guess it was. <laughs> oh, poor cupcake. Um, I bought some last year, like, skeleton ones. And the way they were put in the packaging, they, um... They broke. Almost, like half of them broke when I was taking them out of the packaging. And I was gentle. So it's nice. I like the how they're, they're packaged better this year. And a cleaver. Alright, so there's our Halloween apple cider cupcakes with a cleaver. An axe. And a good old fashioned kitchen knife. <laughs> So I'm going to set these aside, and we're going to check on our, our um, main course, which I very nearly forgot about, but I think we should give it a try. What do y'all think? Yay! I think it's ready. Let's grab a plate. Actually, yeah, we'll do a plate. A plate. A plate. A plate. Is that how you say that? Okay. Love Florida. St. Augustine is lovely. Oh, St. Augustine is lovely. It really is. I'm gonna lift the camera up a touch too, because that knocked half my head. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna bring this uh, pork chops back over and we'll wrap up because it's getting late, y'all. Okay. Oh, I'm so, it smells so good. It smells amazing. Show us how you decorate the icing. I just spooned down some icing, gave it a swirl, put some red on, and stuck a knife in it. Because, you know. Apparently murder is hilarious. Okay. So let's grab, so here we go, can you guys see? That's how it came out. And the apples and the onions are soft. And the pork is cooked through. And yeah, we used pork chops, which is loin, so it's going to be on the drier side. The meat is um, it's a drier meat. If you do not like the drier meat, you can use a different cut of pork. 
you can use a cut from the um, the Boston butt cut is considerably less um, dry. It is much more meaty. Uh, not meaty. It's much more what do you call it? Marbled with fat. Okay, so what do I do with my knife? Alright, these have icing on. Okay. Alright, so there's our do the smaller side. Let's put these aside. So here's our apples and onion pork chop. Should we put a little garnish on them? What do y'all think? There we go. A little bit of garnish. Make it all fancy like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Should we taste it? Always yes. Always yes. Okay. I'm going to pull out yet another knife. Because I want my husband to hate me. We used, um, yeah, Granny Smith apples. You can use whatever apple you like, though. I don't always use Granny Smith. I just saw them in the market and went for it. Oop. Okay. Mmm. Yummy. Somebody's asking about the leggings. The leggings are LuLaRoe. If you like LuLaRoe leggings, please join our leggings group on Facebook, Mama Loves LuLaRoe. Kelly, if you want to go ahead and throw a link up, that would be super awesome. Somebody want to know if we can make it with beef. Um, I don't think beef, I don't know. I've never tried it with beef, so I don't know that beef and apples really strike me as something that go together, but I'd be willing to try it at some point. Mm. I know, so many knives. <laughs> I don't think this is dry at all. It's not. Um, we kept it covered and we had it in um, a roasting pan with apples and onions, which are both super, super full of moisture. So it's steam cooked um, and that definitely keeps it from drying out. So definitely you want to cook it covered and that helps a lot. Um, not a great combo. Yeah, I don't think I don't beef and apples and onions. I don't see going together. But I've been I've been proven wrong before. You know, maybe it is great, and we just haven't discovered it yet. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. It's really yummy. Wyland says wrap and bacon next time. Yeah. It's delicious. Mmm. Mushrooms and onions with beef. Yeah, definitely. So that's how we made, that's what we made tonight, guys. We made apple and onion pork chops, which I'm just going to keep eating because it's delicious. And I lost my fork in my pork. <laughs> I lost my fork in my pork. I don't even know what is happening tonight. Um, yeah, so we made apples and onions, roasted pork chops. Which I'm just going to keep eating. And. Mm, and we made. Murderous. Cupcakes. Apple cider cupcakes. With salted caramel frosting. And bloody knives. <laughs> because Cecilia says she enjoyed the cooking chef session thank you Kathy wants to know if we use sweet onions yes sweet yellow onions mm -hmm. absolutely what cut of pork chops are those they are just thick cut pork chops so it's a loin chop great show catch you on Thursday so thank you guys thank you so much for being here I'm gonna do a really quick little wrap-up I'm April from mama loves food thank you so much for being here we're on Tuesday and Thursday at 8 30 p.m. Eastern doing cooking on Tuesdays we originate from here, Spaceships and Laser Beams. On Thursday, we originate from my page, Mama Loves Food. You will also see us on Quirky Mama. Um, and you can find us at all three of those places every Tuesday and Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Uh, I'm also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern doing Kids Crafts. So if you want to join me tomorrow, I'd love to see you there. 
take a bite of the cupcake. I'm not going to take a bite of the cupcake. I'm sorry. I don't eat, um, I don't eat grains. And every once in a while I'll cheat. I had a little bit of bread last week, but cupcakes are not my, um, I can't stop. <laughs> I'll eat the whole thing and then all of a sudden I get glitter. So I'm gonna save them for my kids. I will, uh, maybe I'll Snapchat them eating it tomorrow, but sorry. I'm not, cause I, I know myself and I won't be able to stop. And I'll eat the whole thing and then I'll hate myself later, so. Um, go back in, knife. Anyway, sorry. So 4 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern, we do kids crafts. And we are still within our Harry Potter month, so we will be doing another Harry Potter craft. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I haven't decided. Um, what else? We've got two ebooks available now. We've got a 25 soups and stews ebook for $7.99. We've also got a 20 pumpkin and pumpkin spice recipes for $5.99. And then if you buy them both, if you do the combo deal, you can get them both for $9.99, which is a very pretty significant discount. So I would love if you did that and supported the show. Um, also, if you love my leggings, these are LuLaRoe. Um, they come in size 00 to size 24. They are super comfortable. They feel like butter, and you guys know how I feel about butter. Um, join us over in the Lula Row group. Um, we're going to start having live sales soon. Um, and in the meantime, we're just having fun. Um, so, I think that's everything, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Wish I would have known you were on sooner. Where can I get a copy of the recipe? Sarah, um, click share and share to your wall. And then when you go back and look at it on your wall, at the top there will be a description, and it's got links to everything we've talked about. All the recipes, all the um, pages, and cookbooks, and all that fun stuff is there. So um, that's how you can find it. Yeah, guys, if you love this show, if you like this show, if you think this show is awesome, um, please like the page, like the page Space Lips and Laser Beams, like the page Mama Loves Food. Subscribe to the feed if Facebook gives you that option, which I know a lot of times it doesn't. Um, and visit us again next week. I mean, not next week. Not next week. Visit us again tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, have a great night. Thank you.